What's up guys? We are going to do a high grade Gundam tier list. Now this is just my personal high grade Gundam, 27 high grade Gundams that I've built. Obviously this isn't all the high grade Gundams, but we're going to do a tier list. So this is based on aesthetics and posability, just kind of an overall general tier list. Um, it'll probably change over time as I add more kits in. I haven't watched all the series. I don't know all the different Gundams personally because I don't watch all the series. I don't watch a lot of Build Fighters. I haven't watched all of Build Divers. I haven't finished Iron Blooded Orphans, but we're going to do a tier list on them just for fun because why not? Everybody loves tier lists. Who doesn't love tier lists? I love tier lists. You love tier lists, right? I love tier lists. Let's do this. Okay, so we're starting with the Trans Am Double O Riser High Grade, and I'm going to put this in a tier let's see because i haven't really you know what i've never really done a tier list before so this is my first tier list i'm gonna say a tier for now because it's really good as a it's actually like one of the best high grades i've built in my opinion definitely the only thing i don't like is the antenna the v-fin is like stickers so that's kind of stupid so like i have them actually right here i don't have them all here with me because i moved and a lot of them are in storage his uh antennas there they kind of look stupid because they're they're all stickers and then the other thing is the clear parts on the legs aren't green which is not the biggest deal i would have preferred them to be green but you get a lot of option parts with it for all the the swords and for him you know flying around with with carrying all his weapons and stuff He's actually a really good high grade. So if you like double O series and you like the double O riser, you're not going to get the real grade, uh, which I actually have the real grade Trans Am double O riser, which I haven't built yet. But once I've built enough real grades, I will do a tier list on the real grades too. Double O riser, high grade, Trans Am. We're going to go A tier for now and I'll probably rearrange it at the end. So don't skip to the fucking, you just wait till the end. Okay. Until I, you got to watch the whole video. High grade wing Gundam from Gundam Wing, one of my favorite Gundam series from the West because I am in North America. I am in Canada. Wing Gundam. Actually, it's not that great for a high grade kit. I have the like metallic gloss, whatever the shiny version. That's like, this is like, the kit's like 20 bucks, but I got it for 75 bucks because I got the shiny version. I ordered it specially from this guy up in like northern BC. Now I find out this year they're coming out with the real grade wing Gundam. Come on, why you do that to me? But that's okay. I'm gonna get that too, obviously. Why would I not? I'm gonna put that C tier. It's actually not that great. The head's kind of small. They see these high grades are kind of old, I think, from what they seem like. It looks good. I had to do some Gundam marker on the shoulders. You gotta put the black in, otherwise it's just gold or yellow on the standard version. But the kit itself, it's like, it's all right. It's okay, there's better high grades. I mean, if you want a general wing Gundam, you can get it, but uh, just wait for the real grade. Gundam Exia Dark Matter. I love the aesthetic of this. I really wanna put it A tier, but the articulation on the legs, because it's one of those older Exia builds, um, and the elbow joint is not that great. Aesthetically, he's one of my favorite Fervor? Fervor? He's one of my favorite kits. I think he actually belongs in B tier, but I like him so much it's keep him at the bottom of A. No, you know what? He, he deserves B tier. All right, let's move on. Let's go to the Tri-Burning Gundam. High grade from, this is from Build Fighters, I think as well. Um, it's really, he's really articulate. You can get a lot done with him. His shoulders are kind of annoying. Um, because they pop out when you're doing some crazy poses, but he is very articulate because he's one of those martial arts Gundams. It's not a complaint or anything, but it takes a long time to turn him from normal blue mode to fiery mode to put the fire parts on, but like it comes with all those fire effect parts and I'm a sucker for those effect parts. So like definitely above the Dark Matter Exia. There's some parts that are kind of finicky with the armor. Like I said, his shoulders pop out sometimes, which is like just when you're posing because you're trying to get some really dramatic martial arts poses so let's put him at the top of b tier for now the wing gundam zero hono he's at least top of b tier maybe bottom of a he's actually 
I don't know, you know what, I'm gonna keep him in A. I like, I like him a lot. He's one of my favorite, I see that, I see it's funny because, you know, you buy these Gundams because, you know, you think you're gonna love them and you do, you love most of them. But there's actually, you know, some kids that are like good, but I don't, they're not my favorite. If you like this kind of aesthetic with the red, the fiery red, I'm gonna put him in A. Transient, definitely A tier. Doesn't come with a lot of stuff, but aesthetically he's also very cool. I did some like cell shading weathering, sort of, on it on him if you can tell so without that he's just white completely without the little black Dundam marker that I put on him but he's actually really cool you know I love I love blue and white that's that's one of my favorite color combinations on Gundams I'm gonna keep them in A tier there there's not much difference between these I think you know what the riser goes above these two but these two are about the same Denial Gundam I'm gonna put him low C Maybe D then I mean me. It's alright. It's like some again the articulation with the tri burning a little bit finicky. You know what? No, he deserves a C. He does you know what? I forgot. He does come with all the effect parts. He's pretty good. It's just some of the armor parts seem kind of cheap to me a little bit. Um but you know, aesthetically if you're looking, you just get him in a pose. He's not bad. His articulation is actually not as good as a tri burning. So, tri burning is definitely above the Nile Gundam. Full armor, the RX, was it 78? The RX 78, full armor from Thunderbolt. I think I'm gonna put him high B, maybe? Maybe low A. I mean, he's really cool. I, you know what? If I'm putting these up here, let's put him in A for now. He's really, he's actually really cool. If you do, if you're really good at painting, I think I think he'd look really good if you're good at like weathering and putting in some extra details and stuff. He's not like a fancy looking kit. He's a pretty basic looking kit, but because of all the armor parts, he's got all the four shields and he's got those two like arm cannon things. Just the concept of the kit itself is really cool. As a high grade, he's kind of basic looking. He's kind of what you would expect, but it's the concept that really drives this one. And then we got the cycle frame from the same series. Also pretty cool, but like I got lazy to not build the backpack because even if I did, I would have no place to put it in my case. I mean, I could, but he'd take up like way too much space. So, and also you can't really do much with him once he's got the backpack on and like all the armor. You just kind of have, you can't really pose him that much, you know what I mean? Because he has so much stuff on him. Um, so let's put him, I like the color scheme, to be honest. That's, that's actually a big part. Like I like the red and the orange. And I love, obviously I love the idea of having lots of armor and stuff like that, it's really cool to me. I feel like he should go there. The high grade Barbatos Lupus is actually really good bang for buck. And if you want to do the panel lining, he's even better for your money. He's like a cheap kit, he's like 20, max 25 bucks. I would say, this is Canadian dollars. I would say he is worth and like posability. He's not like a perfect kit. Like I don't really like the Iron Blooded Orphans, the IBO. Their legs kind of annoy me, and their chest unit, like the chest to the torso thing, is kind of weird. But this is my favorite IBO kit I've built, which is I built like not that many, maybe like four of them, three of them. The Vidar, really cool if you like the kit. Should probably go above. The Psycho Frame Zaku, because his articulation's pretty good, from what I remember. I didn't play with him that much. I do like the way he looks, because you know what? I I like aesthetically, I'd put him behind the Dark Matter, but for some reason, when I'm rating them, articulation is is becoming more important to me as I do this. Kamaris Vidar, I mean, he's all right. I'm gonna put him around there. I mean, I'm gonna put the Denial Gundam there, just because I don't really like it that much, to be honest with you. I like the effect parts, but I really, I don't know, for some reason I don't like this Gundam as much. He's one of my least favorite high grades that I've built so far, which doesn't mean it's a bad Gundam, it just means in my collection, I could totally sell him for like 15 bucks. But you know what, I'm gonna keep him because I have the tri burning Gundam, but if you want to make me an offer, totally make me an offer, go ahead, try it. Well, he's alright, he's got some armor options, but... And he's kind of cool if you like the design, but like his uh, big lance thing is really heavy. Gundam Age, Magnum 2, it's a solid B, probably, because there's not a lot. How come I can't move that? There we go. 
He's got that transformation mode, which I don't ever use. I know some people do it in the reviews. I don't ever do it. I'm not going to do it. But I like the way he looks. He's got good articulation, I think, from what I can remember. The shoulder units look really cool, but they kind of get in the way of things. So that obviously obstructs the articulation. So maybe he does go below there. If you like him, you should grab him. Moon Gundam. Let's put him S tier. Everybody knows he might even be one of the best high grades. I mean, that sounds... Everybody's going to roll their eyes at me and be like, of course, but like... He's obviously more expensive. You're buying like a real grade price high grade. But I gotta say the Boon Gundam is pretty awesome. I think I'm gonna put him as definitely one of the highest rated high grades. Highest rated high grades. I like that. The articulation's great. There's no stickers. Um, I don't think. And you, if you're good at panel lining, you guys lots of panel lining options. It really surprised me. I didn't think I was gonna like him that much. But the Moon Gundam definitely is S tier. Fenix Gundam... He's like, I mean, obviously I only got him because I didn't want to buy, I don't want to pay like 200 bucks for the real grade, but you can't really do a lot with him. But if you want him to just sit there, he's cool, which is what I do. I think I'm going to put him at the top of C maybe. I mean, you put him in B, eh, I mean, you, it's not really much you can do. He just kind of stands there. He's just, he's just gold and he stands there. He's not the most posable. He's just, he's just gold and he sits there. But that's what you want, right? You just want a gold. So I put the Porta Nova in here just for fun because he kind of falls in the high grade thing, I would say, in this category. And I don't even know if I should have him here because he's not even really a Gundam, obviously. But I mean, like, he's pretty cool. I mean, like, let's put him at B or C. Oops. Let's just put him in C for no reason. I mean, he's good. He's fun to play with. He's like a nice desk figure, but... At first, I really liked him. He's kind of cool, but I didn't buy any of the option parts. And I think you should buy the option parts to make him look cool. But uh, I did not, so let's just throw him in C. Because whatever, who really cares about who's... Who really gives a f you know, why, why, why are you watching? You're not watching this because you want to see the Porta Nova. Uh, Jupitive Core Gundam. This is the only Core Gundam that I have. I'm going to put him up at the top of B, I think. So I don't transform my Gundams, like I said. Got good articulation, good option parts, got the... I like the fancy see-through lasery parts, you know, the, the effect parts. I love effect parts. So let's keep them there. Yeah, I mean, you know what? He could he could even go to A. You know what? He deserves to go to A. He definitely deserves to go to A, actually. I think I'm going to move him up. I mean, he should probably go there. It's just I like the Wing Gundam Zero Hono, and I like the Transient more personally, but I know, like, he deserves it, you know? Like, if you like the Jupitive he deserves to be above these two because he comes with more option parts. His articulation is probably a little bit better, at least for the Hono. Transient's still really good. I don't know why. You know what? Transient should go up there. I don't know why I keep saying this. Articulation is getting more praise than it like, needs to. Does it? You know, some people really care about articulation. Anyway, the high grade RX-78 II Beyond Global. I know you don't. it doesn't come with a lot of stuff, but like, I don't know, I really like it for some reason. Let's put him... If you like RX... If you want like, a, you know, everybody talks about this, the kind of spin on the RX-78 too, or there's all these different spins on it. Um, I'd, I'd put him somewhere in here. You know? Somewhere in there. Like, he's, he's, a, he's a good kit, definitely. And let's go the origin. Let's put him... Again, he kind of reminds me of like this guy because he's just like kind of basic but he comes with a lot of option parts he looks like a tank heavy arms i like this guy a lot heavy arms like my favorite gundam or hat was my favorite gundam for the longest time um as a high grade this is like obviously the best heavy arms version you're gonna get not that there were many there's only two there's only that old shitty one and then there's this one but this one is really cool if you like the heavy arms. He doesn't come with the beam saber in the arm, like anime accuracy, you know, he's lacking that. So let's put him, let's put him there, I guess. The load asteroid double rebake. I didn't even build full, fully. I just built the asteroid that's underneath the, the reddish maroon armory thing armor stuff that he's got and like did you know the other side is actually supposed to replicate a nightmare frame from code yes i didn't know that i just read that on wikipedia and it's a trivia thing 
this is what I did with my load ashtrays. I didn't even build the other stuff. I kept them as this ashtray, which I know a lot of people have done customs on this. Um, and this ashtray I like a lot. But just because the kit gives you that option, let's put them in high B tier. Zaku Revive. I think he's, he actually really surprised me. He's definitely like high A tier. Maybe even above that. I don't know. But he's really, he's, he's def, if you like the red comet, um, Char Zaku, got the anime accuracy, you know, he looks anime accurate. I didn't even watch the original that much at all. But I really like this one. Entry grade is not a high grade, but I just thought I'd throw them in here. You know what? The more I think about it, the more I shouldn't even have these on here. This is in the Porta Nova, but I like this a lot. Let's put them in top of B. Um, doesn't come with a lot of stuff. The beam rifle is kind of thin and lame, but like overall, like I actually like the bang for buck. It's like 10, 11 bucks, but um, it's a good kit to start off with. Obviously, if you've never done Gunpla before, it's a great kit for that. So. I would put him somewhere in the high B's, but obviously he's not like terribly exciting because he doesn't come with a lot of stuff. Literally everything you see here, that's all he comes with. He doesn't even come with the beam saber effect part, but you know what? For 10, 12 bucks, I mean, he's worth it, I think. And then I have this random pale rider that's clear that I like. I don't know. I just bought him because I thought he looked cool. I'm going to put him actually... He's cool, but like he's not as cool as I thought he was gonna be for some reason. Maybe if I didn't get the clear color, he would be cooler. But I'm just gonna put him in C around there. That's how I just that's just how I feel about him. Cause he's one of those older high grades. Articulation's not amazing. Uh it's just basic, very basic kit. Let's let's just move that there just because that's personal preference. Cause who really cares about the C kits, right? Like no C cares about C. Should I just take D out? I mean like Maybe I shouldn't even have D on here, because obviously you're not going to buy a kit. Like, the kit I've been most disappointed with is probably the Denial Gundam for some reason, because it's not that articulate, I guess, in my opinion, with the legs and the arms are kind of, yeah, I don't know. Whatever. Gundam Astrea. Aesthetic. See, this is the same kind of thing you got with the Gundam Extra Dark Matter, because they have the same basic frame where the the legs don't the splits don't go out very well um and the elbows don't bend the whole way um but aesthetically he looks really good because it makes me you know what let's just throw him back there let's put the vidar back there because i like the design of these more if i'm being honest like i would even do that maybe because like aesthetic if i'm going off pure aesthetics these guys would go a lot higher in B tier. I would probably do that. Um, but just know that these, again, the articulation is older. St. Andrew, and I have the high, the um, I have the titanium finish. I'm gonna go S tier, 100%. 100% S tier, you gotta get these. You gotta get this guy. And you, sh you gotta get titanium finish? Why would you not get a titanium finish? I don't know what you're doing with your life if you're not getting titanium finish. Like, what are you doing? Like, what are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? Why would you not? Look at this guy. Look at this guy. Just look, tell me that is not the coolest fucking... Like, I love Sinanju, I think. I think that's what I've come to the conclusion of this um, high-grade breakdown is I love Sinanju as a just mobile suit unit i mean he's not a gundam technically i know that but just look at the he's just shiny and he comes with he comes with all the yellow effect parts that you'd want for the, the the axes and all that stuff and he's got just he's a very good looking kid um and the stickers so all the gold and black parts are stickers um i haven't had any problems with them like this is a little bit appealing but i mean if you're i'm not a painter but like so far, so this has been maybe like eight months or so, and like it's still holding up pretty well, I think. But like just as a display piece, this thing is amazing. So like if you want, if you like Sinanju, you gotta get him. So obviously a little bit more expensive as a high grade if you're getting titanium finish. And even if you're not, he's still kind of expensive as a high grade, but 
like he's just I, and especially because i've heard so much bad stuff about the real grade sinanju i didn't even bother getting him so i got the high grade sinanju instead and i am not disappointed at all definitely grab this if you want if you like sinanju at all or even if you don't like sinanju grab it and you will not be disappointed sinanju i have the same thing with the i have the gundam base um extra finish for this one and this is like you know what i think this is my favorite high grade that i have I should have got to put this guy on the list. I should probably put this guy on the list too. But I don't know if he if he counts because he's also special edition. Okay, and there's like look at this masterpiece. So between him and the uh titanium finish Sinanju what regular? Red the red one. Between this guy and the red one, this one edges him out because he's a little newer, I think. He's just a little bit more stable, I think, in my opinion, by like a little bit, by like a mark or two. Um, and I do like the uh, option parts with his, his gun, his beam cannon or his beam rifle or whatever. Um, he doesn't come with the axe parts, obviously, because he doesn't have an axe, but he has the beam saber, obviously, which is just a standard thing. Um, if you want the effect parts with the axe and all that stuff, you should go with the red one. If you're trying to choose between the two, and if you just like, obviously, metallic red, then you should go with the red one. They're, they're very close. Like, they're right up there. Like, I, why did I do that? I should, yeah, Moon Gundam goes there. These two are my favorite high grades, I think. Um, but yeah, the, the Stein edges, edges the, uh, regular Snatchio just by a hair. Um, but they're more or less, obviously, very similar. I didn't put this guy on the list. I forgot about this guy. I just... This is my last build. Um, the, uh... What is this? The Magnum 2 SV version explosion FX... FX explosion Magnum 2 FX explosion. Again, articulation kind of annoying with the shoulders because he's got all the shoulder things in the way um but i mean he comes with his own stand stuff with all these little effect parts that can go on this ring thing and like he just i really at first i wasn't sure about the colors but i really like them now that i have him posed up and just chilling there like he's one of those i mean this is most gundam so once you have him in a pose you just kind of leave him there and like he's pretty cool so i would put this maybe aesthetically he might even get to i want to say s just because i but it's he's like you know when you have a fresh build feel like you know when you just built something and he's just you're on a high so like maybe that's why i didn't put him on the list because it's like it's not really fair because i just built him and i'm on a high and i want to put him in s tier because i like him so much but let's just say he's a tier but okay Let's review. Let's do a quick overview of what I did here. Look at this mess. I have nothing in D tier. I mean, I think it's because there's nothing I hate. Like, if I had to, if I just forced myself to put something in D tier, I'd put the Denial Gundam. Mm, which doesn't mean he's, like, terrible. I mean, you know. Like, this is how I feel about the Porta Nova. Like, he's still cool. Um, but like, I'm not going to buy another one. There was, there was like a point where I was seeing a lot of like, if I bought the option parts and I want to make them look more like tanks or make them like the sky flying units and stuff like they're really cool, but I would only buy the ones that are the same price as the high grades because they have, you know, like the flying unit or the new tank looking ones or whatever. Um, but I mean, just as itself, I mean, you might as well just get an entry grade Gundam unless you really like the aesthetic of this, which... You know, I sort of did, but whatever. Um, and this guy, like, he doesn't deserve to go to D, but, like, I don't really care much for him. And the Pale Rider, like, he's alright. He's just very basic. And, like, I could put him in D if I wanted to. Um, but, okay. Let's let's look at my B ABC area. Am I okay with this? I'm okay with this arrangement here i mean because this key doesn't come with a lot i would move this guy down and you know what you could even put this guy above here 
he this guy you know what? he could even just go to the bottom of a it's only because i just personally like the way he looks but he doesn't come with a lot he doesn't even come with the, the cannon rocket launcher thing um his articulation isn't like as crazy as they said it was gonna be all he has really is this forearm thing he, he does have good articulation but you know what i think i'm gonna put him at the top of b i think i'm gonna do that yeah let's and and you know what this guy might go at the top of b as well you know what i think he goes to b he goes to b not that not just just by a hair just by a hair yeah i mean it's because he's this is like a value play like the entry grade is because he's for value and uh but you know what let's just put him at the bottom of b see like again these two they all they're all dependent on how much you like their aesthetic but their articulation again so this 20 times now it's not amazing especially in the legs but like you can get away with it it's fine it's not it's not like the worst thing they're definitely not c tier uh they're c tier in articulation but overall they're not c tier definitely not they're definitely b um i think i'm okay with that i think we're gonna i think we're gonna stick we could sit here all day and i could dick around but pretty happy with my s tier pretty happy with my top of a i think like you know i could move this something like that i could probably put that back there maybe no he's good this is good yeah okay so that has been my high grade gundam tier list for all the gundams that i've built I have many more high grades to build, and I plan to do a real grade tier list as well. I do not build 1 100 scale Gundams, so I do not have any master grades in my collection at all. I apologize for that, but I just cannot start that because what am I going to do with all, what am I going to do with my 144 scales if I start a 1 to 100 scale click? Like, what am I going to do if I have a bunch of master grades that are just not the same scale? chilling with my high it just i can't i can have a different case but then why would i have the same gundam you know what i'm saying i'm just 144 keep it simple just stay there and i'm just gonna i don't even paint you know like i just i don't have the patience either high grades are just i can bump them out i can like just push them out in a day and now just i have a nice case full of full of 144 scales so yeah, if you like this video, let me know what you want to hear from me or what other videos you want me to make regarding Gundams. I am not a pro builder by any means. Do some panel lining sloppily and I put the stickers on because I'm a fucking peasant. And yeah, that's about it. So thanks for watching, guys. That has been my high-grade Gundam tier list. I said that already. Catch you guys in the next video.